Okay, today I'm going to be talking to you about making creating your very own song bag or box or basket. This can be done with uh, anything you have around the house. But the what? So why why do we make a song box or basket or bag, whichever you want to call it? Well, um, it's just an added resource that you can use when you're doing your singing nursery rhymes with your child. It's fantastic to use from birth. Um, and then you can use it right up till they're older and um, you can use it um, for sort of a talking tool as well. But we'll go into that a bit further. Let's start with what is a song box or basket? So here is one that I might use. And this is just an ordinary basket with a selection of items in that I'm going to link to uh, the song. So we've got uh, a little bunny in here, so we can do hot little bunnies. And we've got a monkey, so you might do three little monkeys jumping on the bed. We've got a shaker and some bells. And I've also used um, a, a, a book, which is touchy-feely. And, and that's got sort of farmyard animals in. So if you were going to do Old MacDonald, you could then sing your verses and use your animals. Obviously, if you've got little puppets for those animals, you can do that as well. But that's a great way of, if you've got a, a, a book, a uh, padded soft book that you've got, one with that's hard with pictures in, that you can do your um, verses of the, of, uh, the farmyard animals. Um, what else have we got? We've got a scarf, which um, again, you can uh, just use an old sort of see-through scarf that you might have, or a bit of muslin or uh, a clean like tea towel. So there's just a couple of things I've got in here. So I'm gonna show you. So if you don't have a basket, it doesn't have to be a basket. You could use your book start bag and uh, fill it full of a selection of items as well. The, the only thing I would say is that using a box or, um, or a basket, as the baby, as your baby begins to be able to sort of do tummy time or sit up slightly, they've got something that's a bit sturdier in front of them. So all I've done with this one is, this is a old shoe box that I had and I've just covered it in some really nice bright paper um, this pattern is particularly good for very young babies because it will draw attention to them. It's got that sort of, um, the pattern of the bright colours and it's a good contrast. And I've placed inside mine, which you don't have to, um, some of this uh, foil, which you can get from Amazon very cheap or from some of the, cha um, not charity shops, first aid shops. So it's, a, it's one of those blankets that once you've done, um, it's called a hypothermic blanket. It's one when you've done a, a, a marathon or something, they often give you one. So it's so you might want to pick one of those up. Again, you can just cut it up so it's just got a nice bit of crinkle. So once they're sitting down and they're able to support themselves, they've got something to kind of stick their hands into. Or if they were laying down on their tummy time, you could lay the basket on its side or the, or the box as it is now and fill it full of items. So. Uh, okay, so we've done why. Why is because it's just gr a great resource for grown-ups. Um, it really helps further your baby's uh, skills as well. So they start not to, as they get older, they can start to name objects, um, and um, they'll be obviously doing using their grasping reflex as well to grab things out. So that's pretty cool too. Um, so what kind of things can you put in there? So I would say start off small. You can start off if you've had one of your lovely book start packs. You could start off with your puppets. So you've got the twinkle, twinkle little star, which is quite nice. And there's the bear, and you can do round and round the garden. So a couple of things like that. What else might you have? You might have a tiny little teddy bear, which you could stick in again for round and round the garden if you wish to. Um, again, as I said, use, if you happen to have any books that you might have purchased already, so this has got farm uh, yard animals and again you can use those you've got your duck and your pig you might have i think they do a jungle one as well so you can pop that in uh, also in your book start pack you might have got a book a uh, black and white book they're awesome some of them have mirrors in which are lovely so you could use the mirror and get them look into the mirror and do eyes nose cheeky cheeky chin that's quite a nice one to do if you have just a mirror, you might have also got, you can use exactly the same. You can use that for body parts. That's what else have I got? Oh, you might have a plastic fish by now. So one, two, three, four, five. All the items don't have to be um, soft teddy bears. You can use some of these nice plastic ones as well. So you might have a duck. Um, what else have I got here? 
Um, a shaker is great. These are particularly good for very young babies because they've got a nice grasp. So you can do your music man and all those sorts of things with your shaker. Some bells might be really useful. Um, I've got a, I managed to find a bus. So uh, the wheels on the bus, that's a good one. Your scarf is also great for the wheels on the bus if you've got a scarf, because you can use that for your big actions. So what I would say is, oh, I've got loads more here. I'll just show you Humpty Dumpty. I've got a mouse, the hickory dickory dock, um, a spider, the Oopsie Boopsie, um, and the duck, one, two, three, four, five. But you know, you don't have to go, um, so you've got quite, a, quite an amount in there now. You don't have to go this much. You can literally start off with a handful. It doesn't have to be as many. And then as your baby grows, you can add them slowly. Um, you know, if you don't have um, some of these soft items, um, then you can always use pictures. Um, so you could always um, uh, cut out a picture and laminate it. Another nice one to put in is um, maybe pictures of family. So you could have the mummies on the bus and it might be a photograph of you or the daddies or the granddads. So you can have maybe some of those family members that they haven't had a chance to see much of just yet. Um, there's basically a wealth of things. I think if you have a little look around your house, you'll pick up lots of bits and pieces. And all, of course, all those charity shops are going to be open soon. So oh, I think they're open now even. You'll be able to pick up sort of, sort of some soft toys that you can use. Again, they, they could be... Um, I don't have very many, but you could get sort of some plastic farmyard animals, which would be great as well. So that is the song box um, basket or bag. As I said, you don't, you know, it doesn't really matter what you use. I would pref I prefer to use a basket because it has more longevity or a box for when they can sit up, as I said. Um, let me think, was there anything else I want to show you? Yeah, so you can just fill it with lots of lovely things. As they get older um, and they... What you might, they might like to do is once they're sort of grasping things and they're um, maybe just getting a little bit of language, they'll be able to choose the song that they want you to sing. So then you'll get to know some of their favourites as well. And then going forward from that, you can keep adding to your items and you can turn it into a talking tool. So you can talk, you know, make up little stories um, about where your mouse has been. And that's just a really good um, support for language and development and for children to have a good conversation and expand their language with you. I think that's everything. Well, I hope you have lots of fun making your boxes, baskets or bags, whichever you choose to do. And I hope that's been really helpful for you. Um, and good luck and have fun.